I have very active pieces and my thoughts here are to play something like e4, right? Or capture, uh, no, I'm not threatening to capture the pawn actually on c5. If I capture, yeah, I'm threatening to capture on e7. This is, this is what I'm threatening, to capture on e7 and then to capture the pawn. So he played like this. Now I have some options. One of them is this. Okay, let, let's develop the pieces. Now he has the isolated pawn, the center of the board with huge pressure on that pawn. This is the next move. This is a strategical winning position, I guess. Yeah, bishop c5 is not something uh, that should concern me. All right, he played like this. I have a check here or I can play here. Yeah, I like this as well. Now I'm threatening this knight again. Threatening, not threatening. I'd like to, to double his pawns. He, he played extremely badly this, this game. Extremely bad. This is not the way to play actually. He delayed the castle in order to do something. This is what I called attacker or fool. He played like a fool because uh, uh, this is not a good position actually. And he didn't select any aggressive opening to do something. He selected something passively and after that he would like to attack. But bad preparation. He, he played very badly I think. Now he, what he's doing, he would like to lose on time. He has only 30 seconds. Uh, yeah, great. Great. Uh, congratulations. Ba back and forth. <laughs> Now I still am pressing that knight and pressing this one. I can go back if I like on uh, here. Okay, he continued delaying the castle. And what about e4? e4 is a killing move, I guess. He can capture with a knight, actually. Okay, this is a tactic. So let um, he can capture with a knight. Let me give a check here. What he is going to do? b5, and then I can go queen b3. Attacking that pawn. Okay, let's let's give this check because his king is in the center of the board. Now I have a fantastic position, perfect position for my piece. I'm attacking that pawn. One, two, three, four. One, two, one, two, three. So I can capture the pawn. Simple as that. Simple as that, right? Now the next uh, step is how to do it actually. How to capture the pawn because he has some tricks, right? He has some tricks there, so let's play e4 now. e4 is a killing move, I guess. Because he cannot do anything, his queen is there. And now he castled, now he finally finalized his development, and this is a complete disaster in the opening. He played uh, terrible moves. Technique is very difficult in uh, Blitz games to play the most accurate uh, moves in the technique. Definitely, because if the other play, player is just playing fast, you see, then um, he can um, uh, he can create some problems. Okay, this is a more serious opponent. He played the Bogo Indian, maybe. Yeah, Bogo Indian. He's playing the main line of the Bogo Indian. What shall I do now? Yeah, I think this one. Wow. And this one, of course, because he is threatening the pawn. Okay. And now it's my turn, my friend. You played anything you like. Now I can play knight to d5, right? Knight d5. Okay, let's move forward. I'm first, I guess. I'm threatening your knight here. Okay. Now I have options and uh, his main problem here, his main problem is this c7 square. Okay, now I think I have a dream position. I, ha I think, I'm not sure. Okay, let's do this. Why he played like that? I have a lot of good options here, I guess. Uh, all right. Mm. Okay, let, let me stop him not to jump there on before, first of all. Okay, this is the first move. The second move, I think, is this one. This is the second move. Okay, you played like that. And now let's go forward with the knight. I'm threatening this pawn, right? You protect that pawn. Okay. 
creating this uh, holency um, on c6 it is another move let's try to improve ah, I'm not completely sure about that but he cannot play okay what about this knight takes this is a tempo actually or I can play I can take with uh, the pawn because this knight is completely out of the game yeah I, I really like that this is completely out of the game let's take another tempo here tempo are always always important and now let's play this move right protecting the knight protecting the knight and then I'm going to play okay he captured that white decision I think uh, I can completely destroy my pawn structure yeah why not let's exchange his best piece let's exchange his best piece I don't think I played the most accurate moves in the world but uh, now I'm winning a pawn I guess because I'm threatening the c7 pawn he cannot play anything at all and uh, I'm threatening to capture the knight and after that the pawn what he's going to do now let's see okay he give me this pawn now I think uh, I have a fantastic position close to winning I think I'm winning here I'm not sure let's try this one is a move protect everything now I'm threatening that pawn okay he played the back but this is not good because I'm threatening this one right now and his rook is completely out of the game uh, I can run towards to the queen side actually because there is the action he played a good move but his rook cannot move forward and I'm, my plan is king c4 king b5 to capture that pawn right um, you should not do this thing to to double your pawns like that okay this is a very nice move of course you have to activate his rook he played very well now I played that one but he's losing this pawn he didn't foresee that move but uh, in any case I think I can capture a lot of his pawns <sighs> let's give this pawn actually I didn't play correctly maybe king here was uh, better move and now let's try to create some problems in this uh, wow of course I'm protecting that my, but my idea is uh, to activate the king actually I'm winning I'm winning in the same game all right after so many defeats in this uh, in this system in Bogo Indian finally uh, I'm playing well Okay, let's protect everything, why not? They are my pawns actually, so I have to protect my pawns. Yep, but now what you are going to stop? Wow, this is good, right? This is good for me. My idea is to go forward actually, not to, to protect the pawn. But I'm trying to, now I'm threatening checkmate, he has to do something. Oh, this is a checkmate, my friend, for the highlights for you. Oh, why he resigned? All right. Ah. I'm going to send that game to my friend Kutsogoulas, to George, to see how I'm handling the, uh, this Nimzo, this Bongo Indian, this Catalan Bongo Indian. He will be afraid, right? G4, my friend, you are fantastic. Let's play E5. But it's one move, not... Wow, what he is doing, actually? I don't know this D4, but in any case, my idea is to capture this one. Uh, he has to go in this rank. <laughs> all right this is a check in order to attack the pawn but uh, can I play some let's play this and b5 okay let's try that now what you're going to do e3 e3 <clears throat> uh, because he stopped me to he can stop me to play b5 but he's going to close that one ah he played that one I didn't see this but now I can pin the knight I'm threatening to uh, do some tricks there Actually, I can't capture that pawn with uh, uh, my queen. What I'm thinking? Let's play this to capture that pawn. Okay, what to exchange the knight? Okay, he played that. 
maybe uh, we can try this to play extremely solidly. This is a very solid system. Okay, let's cast him to this uh, diagonal, to this, and now what he is going to do actually? This G4, the Grob attack, and uh, Grob, Grob, Grob. In any case, I'm not sure. This player said that. Uh, I'm going to tell you what he said. There is no need to control the sender. That he said. I don't think that this is very good. Now maybe I can play something like. Uh, b5. My idea is to trap his queen actually. This is my idea. So let's go here. He has this square, so let's play this one. I'm threatening b5. Yeah, ah, he can go on e4 actually. So I'm not threatening. What I'm doing? He can go on e4, so this is nothing. Okay. e4, d5. Yeah, I'm threatening b5 now, and on knight queen e4 I have d5, right? I don't know what he's going to do. He played something crazy, maybe. And this is crazy because I can capture. Ah, uh, so I have to capture with a bishop. Yeah, I have to capture with a bishop because my knight is controlling that square. And now, is this a checkmate to your queen? This is a question. You have to do something. You can sacrifice 3-4 pawns here, pieces. It will be nice for me. Let's see. Is this a checkmate to your queen, my friend? You have to take like that. I have to. I can catch like this, maybe, to attack your queen again. And uh, this is not the best way to play, but uh, all right. This is another tempo. Actually, I created lessons about this opening for white uh, side. It's it's not a bad bad opening. Uh, but in general, you should be careful about this. Now, I can't checkmate his queen somehow, right? I cannot. How to do it? How to create more problems? I don't know. Uh, maybe this to exchange the bishop? No. We have one more minute. I can capture the pawn, but why to capture this one? Knight here. Okay, let's improve the position of the knights. Maybe I can play something like knight uh, e to f3. Maybe, I don't know. I have fantastic central control. There is no need to go crazy. He is a piece down. So, okay. Th there is no need to to prove something right now. To prove that we are winning right now. Yeah. And of course, if other players um, see the game, you are very welcome to join uh, the team. And play with us. This is not a bad move. Um, but, but, but. She has one threat, definitely. To take my pawn, but uh, let's checkmate his queen. Okay, I'm not going to create any attack now. I'm a piece up, so. Let's try to do this to exchange queens like uh, a pussy, like like a chicken. Why not? I can't see why not. Actually, it's difficult to checkmate him. I cannot see why. So he has to solve problems. His only hope, because now he is hoping to do something, his only hope is to do something with a queen or uh, to trick me somehow. And let's play this. Now I'm threatening because he didn't see this. I have this double attack actually, check and capture, I'm not solving a lot of tactics uh, right now this uh, week, but... Come on, let's go. Another Grunfeld, alright. The tricky system. He was hoping me to to go there, but all right, let's go. Mm, this is an option actually. Bishop g4 is another option. Okay, let's play like that. I'm threatening to capture the knight actually, <clears throat> and I'm going to capture the knight in any case. It's something like coat of uh, system. I don't know if I played the best moves in the position, but I think it's interesting. Now knight c4 is an option. 
right? Okay. Maybe C6 to open up the sender, right? Why not? Yeah. You're going to take my bishop, but uh, this is not the end of the world, actually. I'm threatening on B2. Wow. Let's capture that pawn. Okay, now it's alright, because uh, I have freedom for my knights, actually. And I have a deadly check here on A5. He didn't see that. And now he's losing the queen. <laughs> a game for the highlights, right? I'm not completely sure. Okay, let's play rook b8, okay. Rook b8, obviously, to protect the pawn. I should not do crazy things. It's nice that someone is playing the main line in order to practice this. Black give up a pawn, but this position is very good. Uh, I can't play a crazy stuff like that now. But I can play this move definitely, attacking the bishop, and my plan is to go here, right? Knight g4. Yeah, knight g4. Played like that, knight g4. I'm expecting this one. Yeah, now... Oh, I can play a bishop there. He can exchange, and after that he has f4. This is a check. Wow, I have a lot of tricks. I'm going to do that. I'm threatening the bishop, obviously. I'm threatening checkmate. Knight g3 is another move. I can start pushing my pawn forward. They have compensation for the pawn. Or this is what I'm thinking. But we will see. f4, yeah. This one I'm threatening f5. This, here, yeah, attack that one. Can I create this crazy stuff here? Why not? Let's exchange the knights. I'm threatening this as well. Yeah, I have something in the king's side. Maybe I can play here and can push my rook on the f line, right? She can't put, she cannot uh, play f3 actually. f3 is losing after this check, king g7 and checkmate in the file. Whoa. Now, now, what he's going to do? Queen there, all right. To protect the pawn, he is giving this one. Can I capture this? Okay, let's play this move. Um, because I, I free this G line, right? He protect that one. Okay, let's go here, maybe. I'm not sure, because now he can capture the pawn, because this one is under attack. The game is complicated. Very complicated. Yeah, this is out of the question. Wow, th this is losing. This is definitely losing because this is a check and uh, I won the game, right? Because now he has to give a lot of pieces here. He's going to capture with the king, but I have this check. King h, rook, king h1, this is a deadly check there. In order to play that uh, system. I managed to lose uh, 20 yellow points, but who cares about yellow points? Benko, I love a Benko, because I used to play Benko with the black pieces. This is the good stuff. Now he is thinking, so he don't know the opening theory. Okay. I played a similar game in uh, classical uh, chess with a lot of time, so... Wow, I wasn't expecting that. Okay, let's go here. He's thinking a lot of crazy moves right now. Yeah, I can feel it. Queen is seven, he's thinking. This is not... Ah, and he can capture there, okay. Okay, let me develop the pieces because development is um, is the best, actually. Oh, e6, I have to capture on e6, of course. This, this is the correct move. I have to capture on... Uh, um, 
on E6, of course, what I'm doing. He's doing crazy stuff right now. This is not the correct way to play what this knight is doing here. Yeah, I developed my pieces. Okay, we're going to play chess. I'm going to castling and uh, he has development problems right now, I think. Yeah, he has development problems. Yeah, this one is going here. Okay, let's castling. Knight d4 is a good move. I can't stop it. But uh, I'm threatening a a3. This is very, very important. a3, knight d5. Yeah. I have to capture an e6. I just forget about that. Okay, let's go here. Um, I'm waiting him to capture. Why to? Wow. He would like to capture my rook really now. Okay, let's not to give up the rook. But uh, after bishop d3, I'm threatening that knight. What he's going to do after that? Maybe I can play a3 to to stop that knight to protect this b4 square. And after that, I can play bishop to d3. He's playing. He he is playing a lot of strange moves actually, right? I can understand. He didn't develop the pieces. This is exactly what I'm saying. Attacker or fool? And I think uh, he has this idea, right? Let's capture here. I have something in mind to trap his queen in the file. I am capturing there. This was his idea. He would like to capture the pawn with the king in the file. Amazing. The, the way he is playing is amazing. And now he has a lot of problems because I'm threatening if he captures with the pawn, then I have bishop d3. If he captures the queen, I can capture the knight. And rook e1 is coming. So, my friends, now it's your turn. This is exactly what I'm saying. Attacker or fool. He played this crazy stuff, of course. He would like to attack my queen. What shall I do now? Do I have something uh, more? But okay, let's try to develop the pieces. I think it's good enough. She has to capture the pawn, the knight. I'm threatening this. And now the party is starting. If he sacrifices the piece now to avoid uh, the worst uh, scenario, but I'm coming. This is how to win uh, 2200 elo points on lead chess. They are going to attack you and if you played some good moves, then you can win. Play this, he's creating some problems to my bishop. Knight here. Knight here, knight g4. I, I don't know, Let, let's play back first of all the bishop. I'm trying to play safe chess. Let's play safe chess. Let's play this one. I don't know, he, he has the initiative for sure. Yeah, I didn't play correctly and with some bad moves we can uh, play uh, we can do a lot of crazy things. Now he controlled that one. I have a lot of problems here. A lot of problems. I'm afraid about g4 actually. He cannot play he cannot play g5 right now. Ah this is good. What what he's doing? Why he exchanging the pieces like that? Uh, f4 why not? I don't know. It's a double attack, right? Let's see. I can understand his plan, but uh, okay. He give me the game. He give me the game right now. I can take there. And now I can play this move. And I'm overprotecting everything. Yeah, I won the game because he just uh, played this crazy stuff. Bishop f6, bishop g5. Uh, I can't understand why he did that. Okay, now he's doing a lot of uh, crazy things. He's completely losing, but uh, he played some uh, stupid moves. I don't know what he's hoping, but okay, let's create a new queen. Yeah, you don't have uh, a lot to do. 
Yeah, let's play this. If you don't have any threats, any checks, any, anything at all. I'm threatening a check here actually. Yeah, he resigned about that, but 